Good morning, guys. Let's see. It is 5.56 a.m. It's crazy to me that it's like I woke up at 5.20 something and it was as bright as it was outside. I actually have to put my uniform on right now and get ready to head out. We're starting off a two-day trip. We're going to a city that I haven't been to in so long. I, I drove through on a road trip two years ago, which is crazy that that was two years ago. Time does not exist anymore. It, everything is a blur and happens so fast. The last time I spent time in the city was 2019. So I'm going to Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon is actually one of my favorite cities. I am so excited. I can't wait to go inside of Powell Books. That's just like one of my all-time favorite places to go. Get some coffee at Stumptown Coffee, a Portland, Oregon staple. We'll see. We'll see what else I get into. I'm definitely going to need a nap when I get in today because I am exhausted. Um, my heart rate was up all night last night, and I don't know why. Like, literally, my heart was pounding in my chest. It was very strange. I didn't have caffeine late last night. I did have a couple drinks with a friend, so it could have been the alcohol, but I've never quite experienced that like that before. I was laying in bed and I was genuinely just having to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out just to calm myself down. I w it wasn't anxiety, it was just my heart rate was up. And even my aura ring tracked it, it was like, you need to rest, your heart rate was out of control. So it was like, take it easy today. So I'm definitely gonna take a nap when I get in. But let me show you guys what I'm bringing with me food-wise for today. So I have a little forager bowl, first things first, from Daily Harvest. These have been my absolute favorite lately. They actually just sent me another box, which is so sweet, mainly of breakfast items. So smoothies and forager bowls. This is the peach and cinnamon one, peach, apple, almond, cauliflower, coconut, cinnamon. I just pour milk in it and let it sit overnight and then I put it in this little glass container. You can do it hot or cold. I'm doing it cold since I'm bringing it on the airplane. I still have a code with them, all caps Vera, or you can just use my link and you get up to 40 to $60 off your first box. You get a lot off. It's the deal I used when I first started using Daily Harvest. Watermelon, strawberries, that's all I'm bringing. I have some snacks, but I'm not bringing much. And I'm gonna throw in this Chamberlain coffee. And I got my little base bag with cords, but I have to be leaving here in five minutes, so I need to request my Uber right now. Put on my uniform, and we have one flight straight to Portland, Oregon. I am so excited, you guys. We're here. Okay, so made it to the hotel. This is a new hotel. I've never stayed at this hotel before, but it's super cute. We're right in downtown Portland, Oregon. I am already in a little robe. <laughs> I love it when hotels have robes. And if they do, I will be using it. This is so cute. I don't know why I said it's cute. It's cozy. It's very cozy. On cuteness level, it's average because it's gray. But let's do a quick little tour of this hotel room. Okay, you walk in to the front and this is the first impression of the room it's very pretty and then you come in here beautiful mood lighting in the bathroom nice little marble sink it's very cute in here and then cute towel rack nice little shower has like an overhead waterfall kind of head and then shower head and then you come in here it's pretty has like this suede little gray thing behind the pillows it's a nice size bed. Is it a king or a queen? Why can't I tell? It doesn't look like a king, but it does look slightly bigger than my, I think it's a queen. Yeah, it's a queen. Anyway, why does it feel like it should be bigger? Maybe because this makes it look bigger, like the corner pieces. Anyway, we have this cute little couch, cute little desk, which I'll be using probably this evening to edit. And then I don't have much of a view, but that's it. Otherwise it's just this building. There you have it. Oh, I like over here this little kind of Pacific Northwest art, the lake or the sound. I'm not, no, that's a lake. And then the trees and the logs. Like I said earlier today, I didn't get any sleep, so I am going to need to take a nap. I got five hours of sleep last night, I believe. So let's take a two hour nap and then 
we'll touch base again when I wake up. I just slept two hours, two hours, but it's now 3.16. I actually hit the snooze button over and over again, but because I was in like an abyss of sleep, I even fell asleep for about 10 minutes woke up and thought that I slept like the whole day. Like that's how deep my sleep was. And then when I realized, oh my God, I still have lots of time to take my nap. I just kept sleeping. But now I feel guilty because, not guilty, but just like bummed. Cause I'm like, it's 316 and most of the day is like gone by, but that's okay. Because we're gonna get started now. Boy, I'm tired. I'm starving. I know that much. I'm very hungry. So we're gonna go get some food and like a snack and then i'm gonna have like a dinner dinner i want like i think i'm gonna go over to pine state market i think is what it's called i don't even know if i've been there before i think i feel like i have a long time ago and i heard that there's a dumpling place there so i think it's called shanghai something I'm gonna get some dumplings just like a little thing of dumplings i think this is what i have envisioned in my mind and then we're gonna walk over to powell's yeah that sounds about right that sounds good let's go do that I am back, my friends, and I'm gonna do a little mini haul. Okay, I went to Whole Foods, I went to a couple local shops that I love and that I actually completely forgot about. One of them is called Woon Winkle. I love that store. They have a lot of brands and companies that I really like in that store. Um, Hawkins, New York is one of my favorites. They have like these waffle towel sets that I love. When I come back, um, I might get a couple washcloths to match my bath towels because they had them there. Those are fantastic. Um, and then they have like cool mugs. But what I, I did end up buying something from Moonwinkle. I got this dojo little like collapsible bowl. So these online are $25. Yeah, these are $25 and they had them on sale at... Woonwinkle for $17 and they're made out of silicone so you can heat them up and it's safe and it's the pink color that I love I have the water bottle in this color and I have uh, the regular like stojo cup in this cover color I haven't used stojo in a while and it kind of made me want to use it again and now that I think about it I'm like when was the last time I even saw my stojo cup if I left it somewhere I'm gonna be pretty upset it's nice because I've been needing another little something to keep like dinner foods in because I either have a big glass Pyrex or a little glass Pyrex. I don't have anything in between that stays shut like this. So this will be great. And it's pink. pink. Okay, and then we went to Powell's Books. <sighs> Usually when I go to Powell's Books, I buy like four or five books and I restrain myself because books are expensive now. All of the new books were like 17, 18 dollars. So I'm like, okay, just buy one and then read that book and then come back when you have another layover and buy another book. So I was going to get, I was gonna get two, but I forced myself to put one back because I might listen to it on audiobook. It was, um, I think it's called The Dopamine Effect or the, I'll put it here on the bottom of the screen. But that looked very interesting. And I listened to a podcast with the author. It was Emma Chamberlain interviewing the author and I was very fascinated by it. And it's something I feel like I honestly, I feel like everyone's struggling with right now, dopamine addiction. Like we, it's so easy for us to get constant dopamine hits through our phone with instant access to everything like food and entertainment and blah, so on and so on. Um, so I'm curious about that book, but the book that I did get, I'm very excited about this book. 
is Trust. So I, this is by Hernan Diaz. I read his book, I think it's called Into the Distance, a while ago, probably like four years ago. I loved that book. It made me, it may, it's, it's, I think it's surrealism is like his category. I don't even know if that's like a, a liter, literary, a literature category, but his book, it's, it doesn't feel like sci-fi. It's just, it's fantasy-ish. I don't know how to describe it. His books are so, well, I just read the one. They're just so interesting and you feel like you're in another world, but it's your, but it's still like this world. It's like he mixes a little bit of touches of fantasy, like things that would like magic almost. It'll be like a period piece, but the majority of the book won't be like that. It'll just be like random moments in the story where something very odd will happen. And he paints a very surreal picture of reality based off his main character in that book anyway. I absolutely loved that book. Uh, and to the distance, in the distance, and the covers are beautiful. And now this one, Trust, this one won the Pulitzer Prize this year, which is so cool. So I had already had this on my list because it recently came out. I love his books. This looks like a great book to read like on my roof or something or in the park, just laying out in the sun. And I have this beautiful book. I have his other book in paperback as well. So it's nice to kind of have both because I usually just get books to put on my iPad because it's easier for me at work. But I want something like that that I can sit outside and read. Okay, and then we went to Whole Foods. I love shopping in the Pacific Northwest, just let me tell you. For starters, I had been looking for something like this. I really like the ginger chews, but they're too chewy. This is the Rescue, Ginger Rescue Chewable Ginger Tablets. Let me taste it. These are so much better than the candy if you don't want something like, oh, these are pretty strong. Oh, that's great. So this is great for nausea, gas and indigestion, and digestive health. But I got nausea on the plane today, and thankfully the girl I was working with gave me ginger chews, but I, you know, I couldn't really have it right away because I was doing service and I didn't want to be chewing on a piece of ginger because it gets stuck in your teeth. And this is like a nice alternative. Love, I'm gonna start getting these more often. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm dying. <coughs> I didn't chew that up properly and then swallowed it and it's all stuck in my teeth. Well, that leads me into my next product, my flow box water. My lord, I absolutely love box water. Oh my gosh, am I all right? Love box water, I had to get some box water. I was gonna get the Mountain Valley water, but I had too long of a way to walk and I was like, it's probably not a good idea to get glass and my bag was already so full. The whole reason I went in there, David's <coughs> toothpaste, I'm running low on toothpaste. They had this on display and I love Tate's cookies. They, they were also on sale. This is like their summer cookie. I love anything mint chocolate. So these are mint chocolate chip cookies. And I was like, you know what, why not? I'll give it a give it a shot. I'm sure it's delicious. Whenever I go grocery shopping in the Pacific Northwest, I love to get cheese and I love to get the Beecher's flagship cheese. But yeah, so delicious, such high quality cheese. And then I got a Tillamook, Tillamook medium cheddar cheese just cause it was there and I was like, why not? I got myself um, some food to have tomorrow on the plane. This is just a shrimp spring roll. It was only $7, which I was kind of surprised. Actually, it's eight. Honestly, I feel like these things at Whole Foods are usually so expensive. So I was like, that's fine, I'll grab it. And they're, it's really big. Like there's a hefty amount of shrimp in there. So shrimp spring roll. I just wanted some protein and some veggies. I also got this Greek yogurt. I haven't tried this brand and the vanilla bean just sounded good. You can see all the vanilla beans in there. Handcrafted in Seattle, so it is fairly local. It's not very far away, you know, where it's made in Seattle. And then I saw this and the branding just got to me. Oh my goodness. Olympia coffee. How pretty is that? It's just cold brew coffee, but this branding is so beautiful and it is local. It's from Olympia, Washington. Okay, you already know. It's so thick and creamy, I can't even shake it. Oh my God, it better not be bad. Oh, there we go. This is the Extra Cream Top Milk by Alexander, Alexander Family Farm. The A2A2 milk, let's have a little taste. Mm. 
They weren't lying about the cream top. It's actually like a big chunk of cream. It needs to be shaken really well. 6% milk. I don't even care, I love it. This one's for you, Haley, if you're watching. Haley and Evan. All right. And then, it's so funny. So this guy and I were, oh, those are, that's a very different amount of sugar. Wait, what? Okay, they changed this, but I am so happy. All right, Yerba Mate drinks that I absolutely love. They have two flavors that I've never seen before, Tropical Uprising, and then this one made me stop dead in my tracks, as well as this other guy. And he looked at me and he was like, have you tried that one? And I was like, no, I've never even seen it. That's why I'm buying it. He was like, yeah, me too. And we like both grabbed it and put it in our bag. I'm sorry, Peach Revival? I am so excited to try this. I love peach anything. So that looks delish. And then that's it guys. So the Whole Foods stuff ended up being expensive as it always is, but it's okay because I got a bunch of stuff, like stuff that I'll take home and whatnot. $53. I saw something incredibly disturbing today on the sidewalk and I ended up posting it on my Instagram story and then I ended up taking it down just because I felt like it was too morbid and dark. I don't know, but I saw someone, I saw uh, an alive person. The EMT and cops were there. This person was just in the middle of the sidewalk laying there. It was incredibly disturbing. He was gone. And that's what they were saying on this, like the, the first responders, like he's, it was not good. Who knows how long that person had been laying there. He'd only been, he looked like he was in his twenties, no older than his twenties. And I overheard them talking about fentanyl and I'm like, of course, it's just, it's bad here. It's gotten worse in Portland. Like people have been saying, which I was expecting it but it's still nothing prepares you to see especially what i saw earlier it was disturbing and there's not really much else i can say about that but it's like i don't want to i i like to show the highlights and i always i've gone over this kind of stuff so many times before but i obviously like to show the highlights i like to show all the pretty places i went and the fun things i did but there is a very dark reality that's going on in these cities too and it's just getting worse and worse and I see no end in sight. So I feel like, especially for someone who hasn't been to these cities, like I'm always in San Francisco and now I'm here and what other, whatever other cities I may be in, I think it's important instead of just romanticizing it to also share the sad reality that's going on that's in your face when you're walking down the street. So to brace yourself. Portland, Oregon is one of my favorite cities. I love the city so much. I love the food. I think the people are pretty cool. And it's fun, it's quirky, and I always find something fun to do here. I always have a good time in Portland. I, I can't think of a single time I've been here where I hated it. Shelby and I came here once and we were <laughs> we were very hangry. But other than that, like we were just passing through. I love this city, but it's not perfect. There is a very disturbing reality here too. <sighs> so just brace yourself if you've never been to Portland and then you come and just know what to expect. But um I'm still gonna do my best to enjoy it. I have other Portland layovers coming up, which I'm very excited about. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge and I'm gonna go get dinner. I think I'm gonna go to Look Lock. Look Lock is the first place I've ever had dinner in Portland, Oregon. I came with my mom in 2015, my first year being a flight attendant. I picked up a Portland, Oregon trip. I remember being so excited. Oh my God, I was so excited. I had wanted to go to Portland so badly. And I got my mom to come with me and we went to Voodoo Donuts at late at night, which was a dumb idea. And then we woke up and we went to Pine State Biscuits, which was so good, really good biscuit place. I think it's called Pine State Biscuits. And they had sheer wine, I remembered. And oh my God, I remember my crew that I worked with. Oh, and we went to Look Luck. We went to the Rose Garden, the Japanese Garden, which I would have liked to do today, but it was overcast and I figured, why don't I save that for a sunny layover? And hopefully I do plan on renting a car if I have a layover with friends and maybe we can go hiking or something because that's such a great thing to do here in Portland. But okay guys, for reals, I need to put this in the fridge and maybe go eat, but I'm really pleased with my purchases here, y'all.
it's dark. I'm just editing my vlog. Luck Luck was so good. Coconut curry with shrimp in it and some wontons. I kind of want to eat the wontons now, but I'm going to save them for tomorrow. I don't need to eat before I go to bed. I'm trying to be on top of drinking water. Oh, good, good water. I want to get like nine hours of sleep tonight. I want to absolutely pass out. Hopefully I'll be able to go to bed fairly early and I want to wake up at like seven or something, maybe like 6.37 and go to Stumptown super early. Blue Star Donuts is not where it used to be. And I'm kind of bummed about that because it's far now. Like it's pretty far. I don't even know if it's like safe to walk to that area from where I am. It doesn't look like it. There is a Blue Star, it, like it doesn't look like it's safe. There is a Blue Star near her in the airport, but it's not in our terminal, which bums me out so bad. So I guess I'm not getting Blue Star Donuts tomorrow. So I don't know what I'll do tomorrow breakfast wise. Not that that would have been like a substantial breakfast, but all right, yeah, I'm going to bed y'all. It's funny, I'm editing this video and it's like, gonna be 10 minutes long whereas my last video was 30 minutes long but that just it just happens like that sometimes i just don't have a ton of content for my san diego vlog like i did my san francisco vlog san francisco i also went on like a full rant oh let me touch on that quickly okay i just want to clarify what i meant because i feel like some people took what i said the wrong way um not all but about the whole like how tipping culture has got out of control here. I'm talking about the fact that they were asking for 20% tip. When it comes to coffee shops or like even the place that I went, I still left a little bit of money. I always leave like a dollar. Like at a coffee shop, I always leave a dollar. Um, I can afford, if you can afford to go to a fancy cute coffee shop and buy like a five, six, seven dollar coffee, you can afford to add a dollar like you know what I mean I don't know to me that's just like silly but if you don't for those who don't like to each their own it's a dollar at the end of the day and that's like good karma to leave something like that in my opinion it's just like sweet and it's kind and it like makes me happy and kind of excited to like oh there you go and I don't look at something as small as that as like absolutely not how dare you ask me for your, my money blah 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 like that's silly but the 20 percent when I do everything by myself that is extreme. That is extreme. That's what I was on a full rant about. Not the little things. Like, especially because no one uses cash anymore. So, like, the tip jar. I used to always put a dollar in a chip tip jar. Um, back when I was, like, a waitress and I always had cash with me. I don't have cash anymore. People don't leave out tip jars anymore. So, I just push, like, the one, oh, leave a dollar if I get a drink. The 20% business. Mm -hmm. When they did nothing, that's what blows my mind. I just wanted to clarify that. Like, yeah. Good night. Good morning. It's 50 degrees out, so I'm bundling up. And it says it's drizzling a little bit. So I slept great last night though. Like honestly, let me double check. Oh, my battery's dying on here. I have an hour and a half before I need to be back here and start getting ready to leave. My camera's gonna die before it gets my sleep data. Oh, it says I slept good. Not optimal. I felt like I slept great last night. I didn't get enough deep sleep, it says. Apparently I was awake for a while around 12 a.m. And I got seven hours and 47 minutes of sleep. I don't remember being awake that long at 12. That's weird. Yeah, but I only got six, 56 minutes of deep sleep. Average amount of deep sleep you're supposed to get in a night is like an hour and a half. I got an hour and 12 minutes of REM, five hours and 40 minutes of light sleep. Interesting. I thought I slept better, but I did have a hard time waking up this morning, so maybe that has something to do with that. All right, let's go to Stumptown and get some coffee. I've literally been in my room, no lie, blasting Nickelback. I heard it on a TikTok video and I was like, you know what? Nickelback sounds good right now and I don't care. I will, I am a Nickelback stan. I feel like people who act like 
Nickelback sucks are liars. Y'all know, you know the words to every Nickelback song. If you were especially like me, a young adult, teen, preteen, during their heyday. Those songs are good and I actually wanna see them live. I texted my friend Jade, I'm like, what do you think about Nickelback? <laughs> going to see Nickelback live. This was a good layover. I have another one coming up and I'm very excited about that to come back, even though the streets are filthy, unfortunately. Um, I'm still excited to come back, but I gotta go. Let me see. Van time's in three minutes, time to go. This camera is like way too high definition for me to be filming in the state that I am in. But one, I am loving the quality of my camera lately. I have a new lens on my camera. It's a Sigma, I don't know, 16 something. It's great, so good. I had a really good time editing this vlog because it's so crisp and clear, but I'm glad it's done because I had so much footage to edit through, surprisingly, y'all. I was able to find some little Blue Star donut holes in the airport. I think there's a couple Blue Star locations in the PDX airport, but I'm just so happy that I got some of my donut holes. Oh my God, they were strawberry shortcake and they were so good. I shared them with my whole crew. We were all just like in shock at how good these donut holes were. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my PDX vlog. I cannot wait to go back. I have one soon, in a couple days actually, or a day. I don't, I, my days are messed up. Time doesn't exist, like I said, but. Look at my little sunflowers. Aren't they pretty? My place is a mess. I have laundry to do. I have cleaning to do. I have other projects to do, but we finished the vlogs and that's what matters. So hopefully I'll be able to get this posted for you guys soon. My name is Vera. For those of you who are new here, I am a flight attendant slash travel vlogger. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Please go ahead and follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Balanced Flyer, just like my YouTube channel name. I will, I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.